Hey guys, Lindsay Bowden here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an interactive activity for your students using Google Slides. Let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is get my background pictures for Google Slides, and I create everything in PowerPoint. You can use other options like Canva or Keynote, but I'm going to show you on PowerPoint because that's how I do it. So I'm going to make a directions page first for my students, and I already have one here. And then I'm going to make an example page so they know what the finished product will look like. And I'm going to export both of those slides as pictures so that I can put those as the background of my slides in Google Slides. So I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to actually call this slide one so I know. I'm going to save it as a PNG file. And you want to save it as big as you can. Usually 2000 is the biggest width. That way it won't be blurry. So I'm going to save the first one. I'm going to do the same thing with the second one. Slide two. And it should keep your size for you. Okay, so I'm going to open up Google Slides and I just have a blank presentation here. And I'm going to delete these text boxes. And I'm going to click background, choose image, and I'm going to look at my desktop and insert slide one for the first slide. And then I'm going to duplicate this slide and insert slide two for the second slide. The reason you want to have these as background pictures is so students cannot move them or change them in any way. All right, so now that I have my directions in my example page, I want to insert a new slide. Go to slide and then new slide. And this will be the first interactive slide. So I'm going to go back to PowerPoint. By the way, you want your PowerPoint to be the same dimensions as Google Slide. And Google Slides automatically has a size, when you go to page setup, of 16 by 9. So that's what I have for my PowerPoint. And you can change the PowerPoint size by going to Design, Format Background, Slide Size, page setup, and then you can do widescreen. It'll automatically be the same size as your Google Slides. Okay, so this is going to be my first interactive slide. And by the way, these are just shapes that I inserted with the shape tool. So insert shape. And there's plenty of shapes for you to choose from. Now for this particular interactive activity, I don't want students to move these shapes. So I'm actually going to save this as a picture. This is going to be slide three. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that. And then I'm going to start making the movable pieces. So I already have how I want the activity to be when students complete it. And what I want to do is save these pieces as individual pictures. So what I've done is this is a shape that I inserted with the shape tool. And then I added a text box on top. You want to group these together as one thing. So I'm going to ungroup them so you can see how they started. So as you can see, this text box moves and then this shape moves. You want those to be stuck together. So I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to group them together. Group. And now they move together. And then to save it as a picture, you're going to right click save this picture and then I'm going to call this piece one and save it to my desktop so I remember what it is and then you're going to do that with all your movable pieces so for this activity students are matching the definition the picture with the word so I'm going to also save this one I've already grouped this shape and this shape together so I'm going to save it as a picture this is going to be piece two and I'm going to do that for all of the pieces on this slide. Let me do one more. Piece three. Save and do that for every single movable piece. Then I'm going to go back to my Google Slides and I'm just going to drag and drop the pieces onto this slide. Once you have all the pieces on the slide, you want to resize them so that it'll fit. So I'm just going to take 
one of the corners and drag so it's the same size as the word. Same thing with this one. All right, and then I'm going to put them all in the corner over here, and then students can move them where they're supposed to go. So plane would go there, line would go there, so forth and so on. And then you're going to do the same thing for any other slides that you have. Like in this activity, I have multiple slides. You would follow the same process for each one. Once you are finished, you want to make sure that the pieces are not in the order that they should be, like how the key is. So I don't want to insert them in the order that they're so that students will already know how to match them. So if you want to change the order of the pieces, you can right click and go to order and like bring to front and just kind of change the order of the pieces. That way they're not already in the order that the key is. All right. And then once you are done with that, you're going to share it. And let's name it geometry terms card sort. And you can share it via a link. You can share it with um, Google Classroom. Just make sure if you share with a link that you make it so they can view only and they cannot edit it. And that is it. I hope this was helpful.